I am super happy to be reviewing another Doc Martens style. So the style that I am showing you guys today are the Doc Martens Voss Quad Platform Sandals. Summer is here in LA and it's been so hot, so I really wanted to show you guys a Doc Martens sandal. And if you love Doc Martens boots, you are going to love their sandals because it's the same sort of edgy style, but they are perfect for warmer dates. I am a huge Doc Martens fan. I love the look of them and most of all, I love the amazing quality. So I own a lot of different styles like the 1461s, the Jaden boots, and every time I buy a new pair, I always film a review to help those of you who just aren't really sure which style they should go with because I know it's really hard to choose from. Um, there's just so many beautiful styles out there. So if you haven't watched those other videos, I will link them down below. So in this video, I'm going to give you the reasons why I love this style and pretty much everything you need to know about Doc Martin sandals, what size I have, the fit, the quality, and where you can find them. So last year I purchased the Doc Martens Gladiator style and I pretty much wore them all summer. I loved them so much. They were super comfortable. Um, but this style, I think I love even more than the Gladiator style. So I'll leave the image right here in case you don't remember what those look like. The Gladiator style has a few more straps that go over the top and this Voss style only has this thick strap that goes across. To me, the one strap comes across a little bit more feminine than the Gladiator style. If you are obsessed with Doc Martens like I am, make sure you like this video and you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future Doc Martens videos. Every time I get a new pair of Doc Martens, I always make sure to review them on YouTube. That way, if you are ever deciding what style to get or if you want to compare styles, this style versus another style, you can always refer to my videos. Videos are kind of like a virtual encyclopedia of all Doc Martens styles. If you are curious about a style, I'll give you all the information that you need. Also, if you are curious how I style my Doc Martens, check out my Instagram page so you can see all of my outfit of the day pictures. So let's dive into this review. Luckily, these are pretty easy to purchase. Some Doc Martens can be harder to purchase if they're like always sold out or whatever, um, but I've seen these on several websites. So if you go on the Doc Martens website right now, they are available in every size. They also have them in white as well. So I think the white is really nice. Um, if I was rich, I would probably have both colors because I also really like the white, but I chose the black um, because I just find it to be a lot more wearable. I actually purchased these from Nordstrom's for $120, which isn't bad for Doc Martens. A lot of other styles can go up to like 180, like the Jaden Doc Martens are 180. Um, the 1461s is about 150. So I feel like 120 is not that bad. They are also available on Essence, Tilly's, Free People. When you are deciding where to buy your Doc Martens, always consider do they offer free shipping or, um, you know, read the return policy. Make sure you're able to return them if you get the wrong size because sizing can be a little bit difficult with Doc Martens, especially if it's your first time buying Doc Martens, you might buy the wrong, you might buy the wrong size. So just make sure you're able to return them. I always prefer the quad style. So the quad style is this really thick platform. I would say the quad is about two inches. If you look closely, the platform here is about another inch and a half. So these are really, really, really high. I love the look because it just makes me look a little bit taller. It's super cool and it's really edgy, but just a warning, it is very high. So notice how the edge of the sandals kind of like goes up right here. It's almost like a little lip. This is really helpful to keep your feet from moving around or you know your heel from slipping off. I'm also really impressed by the straps of these sandals. I want you guys to note that my feet are pretty slim and I'm actually really surprised how snug the straps feel on my feet. These shoes fit me like a glove. It doesn't feel too tight. It doesn't feel too loose. Um, it's not going to cause me to fall. It's just right. Something that I didn't notice when I ordered these shoes online were the double buckles. So by the way, this is the reason why I love making these videos because I always discover something that I didn't know when I was ordering them. The double buckles is so genius. They allow me to adjust 
the length of the shoes, but also the width. So I can adjust how big it is back here, but also how tight it feels on my feet. These shoes are so thoughtful and so well made. This is one of the reasons why I love Doc Martens because they are such high quality. I love being able to adjust both buckles because they literally feel like a glove on my feet. They are so snug and comfortable and my feet are not going anywhere. They're not slipping and sliding around in these sandals. They fit me perfectly. Especially if I'm walking and moving around, my feet aren't you know, moving around in here. It just fits me so well that my feet and these sandals are moving in unison. They are one. The leather on these sandals is called hydro leather. So hydro leather is not a vegan leather. Um, it's just a leather that has been coated. So it has this really nice matte finish um, and it makes it waterproof and just more durable for outdoors. I love the iconic stitching that goes all around the shoes. The yellow stitching is so iconic to Doc Martens. That's how I know when someone is wearing a fake Doc Martens or like a Doc Martens lookalike, the stitching just looks off. So I just love the yellow stitching. I think it's so beautiful. It has these two beautiful buckles that says Doc Martens on them. Um, even the buckles are just so high quality. The problem with some buckles is over time, I notice um, the paint will start to chip off of it and it looks really cheap but I've owned these for several weeks now and I can tell it's not gonna happen with these. They are high quality chrome black buckles. They are not painted black. Um, the paint is not gonna chip on them. They're gonna stay black for a really long time and I could tell already that you can't really scratch them. I love the versatility of these sandals. I already have so many outfit ideas. I feel like you can wear them with pants, you can wear them with a dress, I'm so excited to wear them with some cute socks and maybe like a baby doll dress. They are just so fun, especially in the summer. If you love the classic Doc Martens style boots, um, these are a must have for the warm weather because you still get that edgy Doc Martens style, but they're definitely a lot more comfortable to wear in the summer. Especially for me, I don't really like wearing flip-flops or regular sandals. I just don't like the way they look. So Doc Martens are my go-to for the summer. So I mentioned earlier that I really love the thick quad soles, but if you prefer more of like a regular sole, um, they also have them on Zappos or ASOS. I think they're a little bit cheaper um, because it's less materials, I guess. Let's talk about how comfortable these sandals are. So it seems like the whole sandal is made out of this like rubber material, which works well because it's really comfortable. So I've worn these shoes a lot and they've never ever hurt my feet or leave me blisters or anything like that. I'll give you an up close look so you guys can see how these would work on your feet. I don't have a huge arch on my feet, so I feel like my feet are pretty flat and these work really well for me. As you can see, the rubber is pretty flat, like right here where the arch of your feet are. Um, if you have a really high arch and your arch needs support, these might not be the shoes for you. If these are your first pair of Doc Martens you've ever owned, they're going to feel pretty strange, especially if you get the quad platform because they are going to feel huge and they're gonna feel heavy. But I think with all Doc Martens, there's an adjustment period. So it will feel really weird at first because you're probably just not used to wearing something so big and heavy. But um, after you wear it a few times, it's gonna start feeling a lot more normal and you're going to really love them. So compared to Doc Martens that lace all the way up to your ankles, these are really easy to put on, which I love. Because if you own Doc Martens, you know how annoying that is to like lace it up all the way at the ankle or even when you take it off, you have to like undo almost the entire thing just to pull your feet up, your feet out of it. Um, but these are really easy to slip your feet in and out and buckle them up. Unlike Doc Martin boots, they require a lot less time to break in. When you first buy them, the leather is going to feel a little bit stiff, um, but over some time, it will soften up a little bit. These didn't take me any time to break in. It never left me blisters. It was just really easy to wear right off the bat. 
But again, just because it didn't require me any time to break in, um, it might be different for you, especially if you have wide feet. If you have wider feet, it might feel tighter around your foot area here. And I can see how it might be painful if this was really tight and digging into your skin. When you first start wearing your Doc Martens, bring band-aids as a precaution. Carry a few in your purse, your wallet, your car, whatever. Um, I say that about all Doc Martens, not just the sandal, because yeah, everyone, everyone's feet is different and Doc Martens leather tends to be really hard. Um, so it could leave blisters. When it comes to sizing, I think these run a half size too big. So I usually wear a six and a half and I purchased a six and these fit me perfectly. So I would say size down about half a size. Um, if you are not in between sizes, let's say you are a size seven, just get, get your real size, get a size seven, because if you get a size six, it's gonna be too small. Um, you'd rather have it, I guess, a little, a little bit too big because there are buckles you can adjust them rather than being too small. If you can, go to the store and try them on. It would be helpful for you just to like walk around in them and just get a feel for them. Um, if you don't have a store around you and you want to buy them online, you can buy them from the Doc Martens website, um, but it is $7 for shipping and you have 30 days to return. I always buy my Doc Martens online. I don't buy them from the Doc Martens website um, because they do charge for shipping. So I always get it from Nordstrom's or ASOS. One of the reasons why I love Doc Martens versus other brands is they're just such a reputable brand. Um, their boots have been around for so long and they are a classic. These sandals feel really high quality. You can own them for years and years and years and they just, they won't fall apart on you. And Doc Martens never goes out of style. They just become a closet essential. I'm so excited to put some really cute outfits together with these Doc Martens and I can't wait to show you in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that video.